DJ. 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 So the next thing. So, um, in other news, it looks as if Travis Scott has deleted his Instagram account. Now, this was uh, reported by Complex the other day after Travis Scott posted a picture or something like that of him on Twitter in a Batman costume. He decided to delete his Instagram. Now, a lot of people are saying the reason why he decided to delete his Instagram is because he might be dropping another album soon. And this is like a market employee for a lot of artists that allegedly, you know, they delete their Instagram account for a while up until maybe a day or two a week before a release of an album i guess to ground this more attention from their followers because if you if you stay there the whole time the followers they just expecting to see they're probably not going to pay attention to you posting daily because they just like it's whatever but i guess if you delete your entire account get your fans stressed out trying to figure out where you are when you do pop back and you do release that you got a new album out this is going to attract more people and i guess it's going to make the record sales go through the roof I think that's the method that they're claiming that um, Travis Scott is using right now. Um, he posted a picture of him dressed as Batman, all in brown, um, on November 1st. So that's on his Twitter page. His Twitter page is still active, but he decided to delete his page. And then a couple of fans was on there. Um, a couple of fans on there wondering what happened to Travis Scott and why he deleted his Instagram page. If you guys know why Travis Scott deleted his Instagram page, y'all let me know. But then it's all speculation with these celebrities, whatever. It's kind of like a slow news day. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, man. It's kind of a slow news day. I think it's really more so about this election, man, because it's just a bunch of stuff that's been going on surrounding this election. And honestly, this whole thing is a little scary. I ain't gonna lie. I'm worried about how all of this, you know, the results of the election is going to affect everything around me. Like, I don't know how people are going to change, how people are going to be acting. You know, I've just seen a lot of bizarre behavior in public and stuff like this, like elections and stuff like that. I'm just going to be glad that I'm not going to be out in the general public um, the day following um, the election. That's all I'll say. You know what I'm saying? Because I, it's so many protesters, there's so many um, extremists that's out there on various levels. And you could just be caught out in a situation that you don't want to be in. You know what I'm saying? And also this pandemic. I don't know what makes people want to just go and fester among folks. This pandemic is still alive. It's still well. It's flu season. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram just, you know, getting their groove on, having a good old time, going to Halloween parties. And I just couldn't do it, y'all. Look, if you on my Facebook page, you will see that I haven't even put up a happy Halloween post. I wasn't in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have any children. You know, I don't, I don't have any kids to like entertain about the whole situation. So it was just another day to make some money for me when it comes to Halloween. But you know, for everybody that really went out there, you, you're brave, you know, um, you know, kind of dumb, but brave nonetheless. DJ. DJ.